In the vibrant streets of Rosario, Argentina, a young boy with dreams as boundless as the open sky kicked a worn-out soccer ball against a brick wall. His name was Lionel Andres Messi, but to his family and friends, he was simply Leo. Born on June 24, 1987, in a football-loving family, Leo's life revolved around the beautiful game. But little did anyone know that this small, shy boy would grow up to become a legend, not just in Argentina but around the globe. From an early age, Messi's love for football was apparent. His father, Jorge, a steel factory manager, coached him in his earliest years at a local club called Grandoli. However, it was his maternal grandmother, Celia, who played a pivotal role in his early development. Celia would accompany young Leo to every training session and match, instilling in him the belief that he could conquer the world. Her sudden death before his 11th birthday was a devastating blow, but it also sparked a tradition. Every goal Messi scored from then on would be celebrated with a glance and a point to the sky. A silent tribute to the woman who believed in him from the start. At the age of six, Messi joined Newell's Old Boys, a club in his hometown, where he quickly made a name for himself. Playing for the Machine of 87, an unbeatable youth team named after the player's birth year, Messi scored nearly 500 goals in six years. His dribbling, speed, and vision were unparalleled, and it wasn't long before he caught the eye of scouts beyond Argentina's borders. But just as his footballing future seemed bright, a shadow fell over his dreams. At 10 years old, Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency, a condition that required expensive treatment. While Newell's initially promised to help cover the costs, they eventually reneged, leaving the Messi family in a difficult position. His father's insurance covered only a fraction of the expense, and the family's resources were quickly draining. It was during this challenging time that fate intervened. FC Barcelona, one of Europe's most prestigious football clubs, learned of Messi's situation and offered to bring him to Spain. The offer was life-changing. It not only promised a future in football, but also the medical treatment Messi desperately needed. In a moment of serendipity that would go down in football lore, Barcelona's technical secretary, Charlie Rexach, famously signed Messi on a paper napkin, sealing a contract that would forever alter the course of football history. In 2000, at the age of 13, Messi and his family relocated to Barcelona. The transition wasn't easy. The young boy, already introverted, struggled with homesickness and the pressures of adapting to a new country and culture. Yet, despite these challenges, Messi's talent shone through. He quickly became a standout at La Mesa, Barcelona's famed youth academy. His first full season with the Cadetes A, the academy's top youth team, was nothing short of spectacular. Messi scored 36 goals in 30 games, leading his team to an unprecedented treble of the league in both the Spanish and Catalan Cups. As Messi's star continued to rise, his professional debut was just around the corner. At 16, he made his first appearance for Barcelona's first team in a friendly match against Porto. The following year, he made his official league debut, and at 17, he scored his first senior goal for the club. It was clear to everyone that Messi was not just another talented player. He was a phenomenon destined for greatness. The 2008-09 season marked the beginning of Messi's dominance in world football. Under the guidance of Pep Guardiola, Barcelona's new manager, Messi evolved into a complete player, contributing not only with goals but also with assists, dribbles, and playmaking that left opponents bewildered. That season, Messi helped Barcelona achieve an unprecedented treble, winning La Liga, the Copa del Rey, and the UEFA Champions League. At just 22 years old, Messi won his first Ballon d'Or, the award given to the best footballer in the world. But Messi was far from finished. Over the next decade, he would go on to redefine what it meant to be the world's best player. His rivalry with Cristiano Ronaldo, another footballing titan, became the stuff of legend, with both players pushing each other to new heights. Messi's accolades piled up, multiple Ballon d'Ors, golden shoes, and countless team trophies, including another historic treble in the 2014-15 season. Despite his success at the club level, international glory initially eluded Messi. Playing for Argentina, he suffered heartbreak after heartbreak, losing in the finals of the 2014 FIFA World Cup, the 2015 Copa America, and the 2016 Copa America. After the 2016 defeat, 
Messi briefly announced his retirement from international football, devastated by the string of near misses. However, the pull of his national team was too strong to resist. He returned, determined to lead Argentina to victory. And lead them he did. In 2021, Messi finally won his first major international trophy, guiding Argentina to victory in the Copa America. It was a moment of pure joy, not just for Messi but for an entire nation that had waited so long to see their hero lift a trophy in the blue and white stripes. Then, in 2022, Messi achieved the ultimate dream, winning the FIFA World Cup. In a tournament that saw him score seven goals, including two in the final, Messi was awarded the golden ball as the best player, capping off a career that had already surpassed every expectation. But Messi's story doesn't end there. In 2023, after a two-year stint with Paris Saint-Germain in France, Messi made a surprising move to Inter Miami, a major league soccer MLS club in the United States. His arrival sparked a frenzy, with fans and media alike eager to see how the Argentine maestro would fare in a new league. Messi did not disappoint. In his first season, he led Inter Miami to victory in the League's Cup, adding yet another trophy to his staggering collection. As he continued to play, Messi broke records in the MLS, including the most assists in a single game and the most goal contributions. Despite his age, Messi showed no signs of slowing down. His passion for the game, honed in the streets of Rosario, remained as fiery as ever. Beyond the pitch, Messi's influence extended far and wide. His endorsements, particularly with Adidas, made him one of the highest paid athletes in the world. He became a cultural icon, admired not only for his footballing prowess but also for his humility, work ethic, and dedication to his craft. Additionally, since 2008, Lionel Messi has been in a relationship with Antonella Racuzzo, a fellow native of Rosario. They have known each other since childhood, as Antonella is the cousin of Messi's best friend, Lucas Scalia, also a footballer. Initially, Messi kept their relationship private, but in January 2009, he confirmed their romance in an interview and then made their relationship public a month later during a carnival in Siges. Messi and Racuzzo share three sons. To celebrate Antonella's first pregnancy, Messi famously placed the ball under his shirt after scoring in Argentina's 4-0 victory against Ecuador in June 2012, and he later confirmed the pregnancy in an interview. Their first son, Tiago, was born in Barcelona in November 2012. In June 2017, Messi and Antonella got married in a lavish ceremony at the Hotel City Center in Rosario. Their third child was born in 2017. The Messi family are devout Catholic Christians, and Messi maintains a close relationship with his immediate family, especially his mother, whose face is tattooed on his left shoulder. His father, Jorge, has managed Messi's professional affairs since he was 14, while his other family members also handle various aspects of his personal and professional life. Messi's philanthropic efforts are significant, driven by his own childhood medical challenges. Since 2004, he has supported UNICEF and was named a Goodwill Ambassador in 2010. He also founded the Leo Messi Foundation in 2007, which supports healthcare, education, and sports initiatives for children. Messi has funded various projects and made substantial donations to combat challenges like the COVID-19 pandemic and child mortality. Despite facing legal challenges, including a tax fraud case in 2013, Messi has continued his charitable endeavors, demonstrating a deep commitment to helping vulnerable children worldwide. In 2024, Messi founded Moss Plus, a philanthropic organization aimed at giving back to communities and supporting youth football development. It was a fitting tribute to his journey, a way to ensure that future generations could have the same opportunities that he had, regardless of their circumstances. Lionel Messi's story is one of talent, determination, and unwavering belief. From the streets of Rosario to the grand stages of Europe, and now to the growing football scene in the United States, Messi's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. He has inspired millions with his skill, his humility, and his love for the game. And as long as there are balls to be kicked and goals to be scored, Lionel Messi's legend will continue to grow. In conclusion, Lionel Messi has an estimated net worth of $1.15 billion. He has accumulated this impressive sum from his football career, endorsements, and business ventures. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.